Today we'll look at the power of visual emphasis, and it's going to require Master Swordsmiths, Cyberpunk, and the color yellow. Welcome to episode 12 of the Concept Art Playbook. I've teamed up with a game designer to create a series of 30 concept art challenges for you to tackle. Just like usual, Ryan has created two briefs, one for me, one for you, and let's go ahead and look at mine first. This brief has me designing a weapon upgrade station from the game Cyber Raider. And it reads, in between action-packed raids on enemy strongholds, the player returns to their base in this cyberpunk dystopia to upgrade their equipment. And they do that with resources that they've gathered throughout the campaign. So the weapon upgrade station, which is what I'm designing here, is home to the player's tech saber. And this is a sword that's given them at the start of the campaign and then remains their only weapon through the entire game. In addition to the tools used to tinker with the tech saber's hilt and blade, the workbench is also home to an advanced array of computers and monitors which support the research points narrative. Players earn these research points by defeating enemies, but we want that to be physically manifested in the world with more and more advanced computer hardware surfacing as this upgrade station improves. And then it ends with a few dimensions for me to block this in in space. But my first step with a brief like this is always to break it down into bullet points. What I'm left with is a cyberpunk sword crafting station surrounded by upgradable computer equipment. Much more easy to deal with. Now, I understand all the other details, but by putting it in this format, it's just easier for me to start. Crafting stations generally allow players to create really a wide range of items. I'm thinking of Minecraft. But this one is interesting because it's purpose-built for a single object, the player's sword. So the first thing that I need to figure out is how do I communicate that this isn't just a crafting station, this is a sword crafting station. And I want to pause here, actually. I'm about to give that little sometime later graphic, so you don't need to watch me brainstorm. But brainstorming is a huge part of concept art. Remember the game Codenames from the earlier challenges? Linking unrelated concepts with a single idea, that's the skill. As you get better at concept art, you're learning to link unrelated ideas. And that takes practice. So after a bit of brainstorming, I thought it would be fun to cross traditional sword forging with a 3D printer and automated assembly. Those are the two major concepts that I'm trying to link. And like usual, these are not obviously related ideas. So after some drawing, this is the general idea I came up with. Here you can see there is a molten metal extrusion, just like we see in the furnace of a traditional swordsmith. And that's going to make the base for the blade. And then here we have a print head like on a printer. But instead of 3D printing, which is an additive process, here I've drawn an array of hammers, welders, and other metalworking tools. So you can picture this print head moving back and forth, rotating, and rapidly forging a sword out of this superheated metal base. Now, when I look back at the brief, this accounts for the first half. But I still need to think about those computer components that are gonna expand as the workstation upgrades. And really, this is a good time to bring in today's design principle, which is emphasis. If you have a field full of objects, changing one's color, changing one's size, or maybe just changing a texture immediately draws attention. You're using contrast to separate one object from the other objects. While I demonstrate this workstation design here, I'm thinking a lot about emphasis. I need to have this sword printer grab attention. It needs to be visually emphasized over its surroundings so the player can find it. And especially with the cyberpunk aesthetic that the brief calls for, there's a real chance that this desk gets lost in a sea of clutter. Remember when we studied game objects in context? Knowing that this is a cyberpunk game, we can assume that the surrounding objects will be cluttered. One great way to emphasize an object is to create a frame. I think the computer equipment, which is the second element of this brief, can actually serve as our frame here. So at a high level, I imagine the sword printer being in the center. And then as the player progresses through the game, we add more and more monitors, pipes, and wires as upgrades. And by shaping them like this, I'm actually making a visual frame element that our focal point sits in the center of. Another great way to emphasize something is to break the ground plane. By using a set of stairs and putting this workstation up on a platform, it immediately grabs your attention. Just like a raised throne or maybe a religious pulpit, elevated objects automatically stand out from their surroundings. And then once it's raised, I probably need to put on a handrail surrounding the stairs. 
and then I'll probably continue that to the platform. This is great. Just like in our example here, this is an opportunity to use a different color or a different material to make visual emphasis, to create a visual frame surrounding something important. Here, I'm just gonna use these rails as an opportunity to put in a bright yellow color. And then by doing this, it clearly directs the player right up the stairs and then surrounds them in the work area. It's very clear. So that's the general game plan. Now it's time to make a nicer drawing. And here I'm using the same techniques that I talked about when we clarified the shapes in the car. But after some time sketching and refining the shapes, here's what I came up with. You can see that I've left the color palette really narrow. In the final version, I assume that there's gonna be a bit more variation, you know, some more textural details, but not too much. You can see here that I'm using colors to draw attention and to frame the important bits. And that really works best if you keep a limited palette. Another trick for emphasis here that I'm using is lighting. You can see I've used a blue spotlighting effect which comes from the computer monitors. This is great because even though there's tons of details in the pipes and in the surroundings, being mostly in shadow actually makes them much less attention grabbing. If the light is limited here to this narrow area right around the desk and on these stairs here, the high contrast light and shadow will pull the player's attention to the center. Even if we ignored all the colors and textures, just the use of light in a centralized position really works for visual emphasis. And finally, you can see here that I've designed the workstation in two phases, showing what an early game workstation might look like and what a late game workstation might look like with all of the upgrades. So to summarize, first I came up with what we could call the design idea, a sword maker crossed with a 3D printer. Just like code words, I was connecting two unrelated concepts. Then when it came time to execute the idea, I used a number of visual techniques to emphasize the important parts and de-emphasize the rest. And now I challenge you to do the exact same process. So let's take a look at your homework and see what Ryan's assigned for your brief. Unlike my sword crafting bench, you'll be designing a chemical research station. If you don't want to take a screenshot, the details are available as a PDF below the post. Now, even though Ryan didn't specify, I want you to think about visual emphasis when you're making your drawing. Color contrast, detail contrast, size contrast, make your workstation really grab attention. But don't worry about the polish of the drawing. If you don't have much drawing confidence yet, I still encourage you to make a rough sketch. Like here where I rendered this spotlight effect for visual emphasis, I could have just as easily used a line drawing and added a quick note instead. Don't let drawing skill prevent you from tackling this homework. So give it some time, and when you're done, I'll see you in the next lesson.